With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins. As a ridge of high pressure over the desert southwest builds towards the plains, our daytime highs through Saturday, the warmest of the next week, with highs in the mid-80s to the low 90s. The smoky haze from the Canadian wildfires lingers aloft in the higher levels through tomorrow morning. Across central and eastern Nebraska, Isolated thunderstorms are possible this late afternoon through the early overnight, mainly to the north of I-80 and to the east of Highway 281. A few of those storms could be strong to marginally severe with quarter-sized hail, gusty winds, and some locally heavy rain. Approaching low pressure and a cold front results in low-end thunderstorm chances late tomorrow night through Saturday morning. Off and on, thunderstorms are likely with that cold front dropping south for Saturday night through Sunday night, possibly lingering into Monday. A few of those storms could be strong to severe late in the day on Saturday. Daytime highs drop to the 70s for Sunday and to around 70 for Monday on into Wednesday. Slight chances of rain linger in the middle of next week before a warming trend late next week. For the long-term forecast, slightly cooler than normal to seasonal temperatures are likely for Nebraska and Kansas. The middle of next week, temperatures trend slightly warmer than normal in Nebraska. Seeing snow in Kansas by next weekend through September 20th. Near normal to slightly above normal rainfall is forecast for Tuesday through September 20th for Nebraska and Kansas, especially over southwestern Nebraska and western Kansas. Checking the regional drought monitor, Nebraska holds at 31% drought-free. Drought-free to abnormally dry areas are from the southwest to North Platte, the Panhandle, much of the north central, and the far southeast. Most of central and far eastern Nebraska remain in moderate to severe drought. Extreme to exceptional drought remains at 14% of Nebraska, including east central locations that are along and east of the line from Wayne to Fullerton, Grand Island, Hastings, and Superior. Kansas dropped two percentage points to 16% drought-free. It's drought-free to abnormally dry in the far west, south central, and northeast corner. The majority of Kansas continues in moderate to severe drought. Coverage of extreme to exceptional drought increased a percentage point to 20% of Kansas, still including areas from Stockton to Beloit, south to Russell and Ellsworth, along with Salina down to Winfield and Sedan. Key weather factors in the markets include mild weather for the Corn Belt and heavier rain in southern Brazil and Argentina. A cold front inching towards the east coast remains the focus for afternoon and evening thunderstorms, leading to five-day rainfall totals of one to three inches or more in the mid and northern Atlantic states. A new disturbance arriving across the nation's midsection generates a few showers starting tomorrow or during the weekend. Most areas receive only light rain, but totals could reach about one to two inches or more across the central and southern plains. Across the plains and Midwest, any benefit from the rain looks to be minimal for a high percentage of mature crops. A protracted heat wave in the south central U.S. begins to break, with temperatures largely remaining below 100 by early next week. In Argentina and southern Brazil, more rain, some of it heavy, remains possible through at least the middle of the month. For southern Brazil, concerns for flooding may outweigh the benefits of the continued rain. Towards Argentina, the rains are leading to much more favorable conditions before planting season after last season's drought. I'm Paul Perkins. That's a check of the Ag Weather.